All right, greetings one and all and welcome to day number two. Yes, day number two, week 11 of our journey together. And it's definitely a delight to have each and every one of you here. We are on a mission um, for these next four weeks. Um, and so we gotta, we have to move quickly because we have more, we have less time and more topics to cover. So let's try and marshal through these topics so that we can be completed with all you need to know. Once again, the theme is all you need to know series. That's the theme for the next four weeks. Hopefully we can cover everything in that four weeks. I'm hoping, crossing fingers and everything. Um, but that's the theme, all you need to know series. So we're gonna marshal through these topics and cover them one by one, which means that you have to come to class, every one, every class, and you have to be on time because we will be starting promptly. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know as we go through them. Please let me know if you have any questions um, so, I, so I can be able to answer them. Um, do not be ashamed or scared or whatever uh, to ask a question. Yesterday we started percentages. We finished probability with problems and now we are on percentage with problems. And so we are going to 2019 um, past paper and let's answer the questions based on that. Can I get um, where y'all um, um, by left off yesterday? So I, I get screenshot them and I got the right all of them. And send it, write them down. Just send them you. I, I, uh, I, I will compile them and put it in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in like together for you. But all of them are already on my YouTube channel. Like I said, I uploaded the video yesterday. So if you want to get it from there, you can get it from there. Okay. We do the YouTube channel. So I got the wait that you don't send them to me then. Say it again. You do not. I was trying to get it off the YouTube channel the, other day, the last time, but I couldn't figure out how to get it off the how to do the YouTube channel one. Uh -huh, that's funny. Okay, look, let me let me go on it. So YouTube. So if you go on the open and it classroom, this is me right here, and then just go on videos. And then the one we, what we did yesterday was this one. Day one, week 11, spring 2023, the canvas. Oh, it's, it's open hand class. It's open hand. Um... Yeah, the open hand, the classroom. Oh, and then, my... yeah. and then um, this is what we did. Everything is there. Okay, from sugar and all that stuff. So it's there. All right. I mean, you should sure subscribe also so, I, so that um, you can get the notifications whenever I send, um, whenever I upload them. But I upload them right out. I'm after class. Um, um, I typically upload them, like yesterday, I upload this one in the early morning. So it'll be on before daylight for sure. All right. <clears throat> Number nine, please write down the question. Um, I saw one student who was very lazy and just wrote down the number and the, and the answer. Let me see what that is, where's Latre? I hope he is here. Latre is not here yet. But when Latre here comes, please remind me to tell him about that. I want you to write the questions and the answers, not only the answers. Um, so let's begin. Um, the question says, Mr. Smith purchased 80 pens. 15, he discovered that 15% of them were faulty. And faulty means that they, what? If they're faulty, they don't what? Do not work. They don't work. They don't work. So he discovered that 15% of them were faulty. So he said, okay, how many of them were good? This is a very important question. That's why it's three points, all right? So you have to first figure out um, how much of them were faulty. So in order to figure out how much number 40, you would say um, number of pens that 
are 40. That's going to be equal to. Um, what I would do is I would say, okay, we're going to figure the faulty ones. The faulty ones are how much? What? That was what? 15% of what? Of 80. 80. So number, number of pens at faulty is going to be 15%, which we know is 15 over what? 100. Right? Multiplied by mm. 80 mm. over 1. Mm. 80 over 1. And here, what are we going to do? Cancel over what? The zeros. Zeros. Yeah, so we'll have for what? 15 over 10. Times eight. 8 over 1. Yeah, times 8 over 1. And so that's going to be what? 15 times 8. What is 15 times 8? 15 times 8 is what? 120. Say it again. 120. 120, yeah. Again, please write down the question along with the answers, the working that I'm giving. Do you have a draw the pen? No, you don't have to draw the pens. Two times one is, sorry, 10 times one is 10. And 120 divided by 10 is what? That's just going to be, we cancel the zeros. Only be one. That's going to be what? 12. So there are how many pens are faulty? 12. 12. 12. So 12 pens are faulty. So, so how many pens were good? So number of pens that were good. So that's going to be equal to what? Uh, the total. It take, it my, take with 12. Uh, the faulty ones, number of faulty ones, what? 80 minus what? 12. 80 minus 12, very good. 80 minus 12. What is 80 minus 12? 68. A 68. So number of pens that were actually um, good is 68. Any questions on that? All right, good. So let's move on to B. He sold the good pens for 50 cents each. How much money did he make? So amount of money made is going to be equal to what how much how are we going to do this we don't already sold um the good pens for 50 cents each how are we going to find out that answer 68 multiplied by 50 cents very good 68 multiplied by 50, 50. cents good what is 50 cents that's going to be what zero Point what? Five O. Five O. Okay, and then let's multiply that. We have to actually show our working. So let's do sixty-eight. Multiply it by zero point five zero. Um let me zoom in on this so you can see it properly. And if I zoom in, you ain't gonna be able to see the rest. So let me just leave it like that. Please write down the question along with the answer for me, please. Um, some people are not sending in their work and they think that they are getting away. But trust me, you're not getting away and you will write every last one of these, these notes. So just save yourself some time and headache and just do them one time. He says, if, if after the four weeks, I do not have your work, we have to write all of them again. So don't think that you're sneaking away. Zero times eight is what? Zero. Zero times six is? Zero. zero. You put the zero down. 
Five times eight is? 40. Four. Put the four up. Five times six is what? 30. 30. Is what? 34. 37. 34. 34. And then we put the two zeros. Um, zero times eight is still zero. Zero times six is zero. We add them up. And we have zero plus zero plus zero is zero. And zero plus zero plus zero is again zero. Four plus zero is four. Three plus zero is three. And so that's gonna be um we have two numbers behind it as well, right? We're gonna move it twice, right? One, two. So it's gonna be what? 34. 34. Point zero zero, which is what thirty four dollars. Make sense? So this is the first one. Yes, this is the first one. All right. Any questions on that? Yes or no? Any questions? Let me know. No, oh, so. Um, Hi, Mr. Petit. I'm driving, so I can't screenshot it right now. I had a red light right now. So I think you'll have to go back up when I get to where I go in, because I drive in. Sure, no All right, so let's move on. Can you go up for one second, please? Okay, sure. Make sure if you don't have it, please take a screenshot of it and write it down. Again, if you do not have it down, take a screenshot of it and write it down. Please, I'll be moving quickly. All right, so let's move on along. Number 17. Um, number 17, you already did this. This was um to on the total bill. I mean, did stuff like this. Let's do 2015. Um, it says, write the question down for me. Like I said, write the question down and write down the correct answer that I provide. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, so the question says, Mrs. Bailey bought a house for $95,000. She later sold it for $114,000. Calculate a profit. What would be a profit? Anyone? Um, would it be um the, the um, price she sold it for, but uh by the price she um bought it for? Take away. Take away, very good. So we're gonna subtract um one hundred and fourteen thousand and ninety-five thousand. So let's let's do that. One one four zero zero. And zero, we subtract, it's going to be 95,000. Zero, zero, and zero. 
zero minus zero is zero, zero minus zero is zero, zero minus zero is zero. Four minus five is, can't do that, right? So we have to borrow. This becomes zero, this becomes 14. 14 minus five is only five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's nine. Um, zero minus nine, we can't do that, so we must cross that out. It's gonna be zero with the one. 10 minus nine is gonna be what? One. So the answer is how much? 19,000 as a profit. Um, do we understand this? 19,000? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now the question says, or well, the other question says, calculate the profit as a percentage of the price she paid for it. So, excuse me. So we want the profit as a percentage of the cost price. So that's going to be a profit is how much? How much is a profit? Speak to me. Nineteen thousand dollars. Nineteen thousand. Good. The profit. How much did she pay for it? Um, $95,000. No, how much did she? Yes, yeah, she, yeah, she paid for it for $95,000. That's a fraction we must first set up. The profit over the price that was paid for it. Now we want to change this fraction into a percentage. What must we do? Multiply it by what? 100 over 1. 100 over 1. Very good. All over one. Good. Now what, what could we do? Cancel it, right? Cancel the zero. Good. So this zero goes with what? This zero. And that zero goes with this zero. So you're going to be left with what? 19,000. Times one. 19,000. Um, times one is what? 19,000. And 950 times one is? 950. Good. And we still could cancel out, right? Because this zero could go with that zero. So we are left with 1,900 1, divided by 95. So we have 1,900 divided by 95. And what's that answer? Let's see. Um, let's divide them. So 95 into? That'll be two. They could go into it twice, right? 95, yeah. 95 into 19,000. Um, 95 into 190. That'll be 20. 20, that'll be 20. Yeah, that's 20. 95 into 190 is equals in twice. So 95 times two is what? 190. 190 minus 190 is what? Zero. 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 Besides 95 goes into um, zero. Zero times, right? Zero minus zero is zero. So that's going to be what? 20. So how much percentage it is of the percentage of the cost price? It's going to be 20%. All right. Any questions on that? What we did was we took the 19,000, which is the profit. We divided by the cost price and we changed it into percentage. This question, questions like these, they love to bring. They love to bring it. So please notice. All right. All right, number 18. But the please not go back in. Okay, go back up. Please take a screenshot of it. And write down the correct answer that I have.
Hi, Fella. Okay. All right, let's do the one to number two. That was fourteen. Um, this one says, Patsy bought six dresses, totaling costing a total of three hundred dollars for her shop. She sold each dress for sixty one dollars. Um, calculate the total amount of money she made from the sale of all the dresses. So how are we gonna pay that out? We wanna know how much she made. Um. Revenue is going to be equal to what? Um, how are we going to get that? I say total amount of money. How are we going to get that total amount of money made? Um, do the ride two hundred by the sixty one. Why you divide? Why you? Why you divide it? Six dresses. She, okay. It says that she got six dresses. She sold each of them for sixty-one dollars. How much money she made from the sale of the dresses? So, so do you multiply sixty-one oh. by six? Sorry, multiply sixty-one by six. Real business woman. So six multiplied by what sixty-one? Is going to be the total amount that she made or revenue. So six times 61, let's multiply that. So 61 times six. All over. All right, six times one is? Six. Six, six times six is? 36. So it's the amount that she made? $366. $366. Now, this is her revenue, or we would say the amount of money that she made, but this is not her profit. Okay? Because remember, she bought the dresses for $300. Okay? There's just the amount of money that she made, but this is not her profit. Okay? So... How are we going to figure out a profit though? So we want to figure out a profit. How are we going to get a profit? You would have to um, subtract 366 from 300. Very good. So a profit is going to be um, 366, that's the amount of money that she made, minus 300. So that's the thing. When people see people, when pe when persons see person, when persons see other persons, you know, making money, say, say, oh, this person got a shop. They're making so much money. Wow. They probably a millionaire. Ah, uh, no. Just remember, everything in that shop costs something. So you might say, well, how much you made today? The person might say, I made $700. Or I made $800. But they didn't really make seven or $800. Their profit is going to be, they have to take away how much money they made from how much it took to buy the goods. Okay? So that's something you have to think about as well. So you would ask persons that, oh, I made um, 11 or, or $1.3 million this year. You have YouTubers. Oh, I made that one, you know, $1.3 million. And they show you their bank statement. Oh, yeah, I made, you know, $1.3 million. Really? Well, did, did you have any, did you incur any costs? Like, what is the cost to pay for your cameraman? What is the cost to pay for your empo employees? What's the cost to pay for the place that you're shooting the videos? What's the cost to pay for the furniture? What's the cost to pay all these? Everything has a cost. So just because you see persons getting money, that doesn't mean that's how much profit they make. So profit is different from revenue or amount of money made. That's the difference, okay? 
So in order to get profit, you must take away amount of money, revenue from the cost. Okay. So three hundred sixty dollars, three hundred sixty-six dollars minus three hundred dollars. So six minus six, six minus zero is six. Six minus zero is six. So our revenue is what sixty-six dollars. You can imagine that. After you sell six dresses, six dresses you sell, and you only make sixty-six dollars. That's sad. Now it depends. It depends on how fast you sell them. If you sell it in a minute, sell it in an hour, now I'm bad. But imagine if you take if imagine if it took you all week to sell these six dresses or a month. You only made sixty six dollars from that, and that's why you wonder why. You go, please. Oh, well, okay. That's why you wonder why some some shops close. You know, you'd be like, "Well, I just saw the shop open. That was a nice." Um, cook place. Why they close down? Why they shut down? Well, because even though they're making a lot of money, they still ain't getting enough profit to to you know actually make the business worthwhile. Okay, so now we want <clears throat> the percentage profit made on the cost price. So it's the same thing. It's the same question from above. You have to take you have to take sixty six. That's your profit. Right, sixty six. That's your profit. And you have to divide it by what? Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred is um the cost price. Yeah, three hundred is the cost price. Very good, Aaron. So sixty six divided by three hundred, which is the cost price. I'm gonna multiply it by what? One hundred over one. Hundred over one. The reason why we multiply it by one hundred over one is to change it into a percentage, okay? And so what do you do at this point? You're gonna want- Cross zeros. Cancel out the zeros. Cancel out the zeros. And we do 66 times one, which is what? 66. So the profit, the percentage profit made on the- That feels so weird. Percentage profit made on the cost price. Sixty-six. Oh, you have to divide it by three. So, so it'd be twenty-two. Sixty-six over three, multiplied by one over one. It's gonna be sixty-six divided by three, and it's gonna give you twenty-two. 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 Very good. So our percent, our percentage, our percentage profit is twenty two percent. All right. All right. Any questions on that? Any questions? Oh, Anyone? I have a question. Go ahead, Jennifer. For the first one, right? Mm -hmm. You have six times sixty one. How do you get six? Because it says that she bought six dresses, right? So she gonna she sold each dress. So it's gonna be six dress, six dresses from the six dresses that she have times sixty one. Because she sell each of them for sixty one dollars. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Good. Please write this down and send it to me, please. Okay. Right now, I want. I want the first two, the first two that we did, please send them for me via WhatsApp. The first two that we did, um, please send them to me via WhatsApp. Take a picture of it and send it to me. The first two that'll be this one on part two and the next one on, what are on the, oh, the first three, you really did three already? One, the first three, two and three, yes, yeah. please send me them. Send me the first three. Okay, moving right along. Let's do Yes, sir. Oh, you could go back to the first one so I can squeeze all the real quick, please. Can you stop coming to my class late? Like, can you stop? I'm going to be early, come late, 10 minutes late. That's late. 
We did we did it a lot. I saw when you come. Stop coming to this class today, Jensen. That's getting annoying right now. And every time I have to come back. Hold on. That's the first one? Yeah, that's the first one. All right. You got the second one? Where are you for this one? Yes, sir. Okay, I got to. All right, now let's do 2013. Um, some of you, I'm still waiting on the first two. People like Aiden and Kaden, Caleb and Malaya. I don't receive your work. Please send them in and Anna Ashton. Okay. All right, so 2013, this one says Paul scored 17 out of 20 on a test, calculate his percentage score. So this is how, they, this is how we as teachers do your percentage. So we got a 17 out of 20. So it's not hard. You do 17 over what? 20. And you multiply it by what? 100. Because you want to change it into a and you want to change it into um percentage. And so what we do what we do from now, we're gonna what, cancel the zeros. It's gonna be what? This zero with that zero. So we have what? 17 times 10. 170 over 2 over 10 over 1 and 10 over 1. What is 17 times 10? That's going to be what? 170. 170. And what is 170 divided by 2? Let's actually do that. 2 into 170. Gonna be what? Eighty-five. Two into seventeen goes what eight times. So two times eight is what sixteen. Um, seventeen minus sixteen is one. We bring down the zero. How much time two goes into ten? Five times. Five times. Two times five is ten. And so we do zero, one minus one is zero. So this is 85%. All right, so it's gonna be 85%. Um, the next question says that um, on another test, he scored 75%. If that test was out of 24 marks, how many marks did he receive? So basically, what is it saying? A little bit difficult or different? I guess that's what I could use. Um, they're saying that um, we don't know how much marks he get. But it's out of 24. And we know that when you multiply it by 100, you're going to get 75%. So the question is what could X be? Okay, so basically, we don't know what this is. Um, we're trying to figure out how much marks must he get in out of 24 in order for him to get 75%. Now, if you have a calculator, you could do it easy, easily. Let me show you. But we're going to do it the non calculator way, but that's an easy way to do it using a calculator. If you have a calculator, you can easily check like one, one, one time. 
So you could kind of guess it. So let's say you got a seven or a 24. A seven or 24 is a what? That's what, a 29. That's too low. So he must have gotten, let's try 15. 15 or a 24 is what? That's a 62. So we must go higher or lower? Higher. Lower. Oh, you're trying to get 75%. Oh, high. Oh, yeah. So we're going to be, let's try 17. Divide by 24. That's 71. So we must go higher or lower? Higher. Higher. So let's try 18. 18 divided by 24. That's 75%. So um, how much mass must he get in order for him to get 75%? 18. He must get 18. So that's an easy way to do it. Like if you have a calculator, you could just check, check it, check each number, divide it by 24 each time, and you're gonna get it. Um, but let's do it the, the manual way. So again, we don't know what it's gonna be, but we know that when we want to multiply x divided by 24 times 100 and 100 over x, we should get. 75. So this turns into a linear equation where we have 100 multiplied by x is going to be what? 100. 100 multiplied by x is what? 100x. It's going to be equal to 75. And 24 times 1 is what? 24. 24. Are we going to do something interesting? We are going to put a 1 over the, over the 75. So we're going to divide that by 1. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply. So we're going to multiply the 24 by 25. We're going to multiply the 1 by the 100x. So again, 24 times 20, 24 times 75 and 1 times 100x. 1 times 100x is simply, let me put it below, it's simply 100x. And 24 times 25 is what? I mean, 24 times 75. 1,800. Is that true? 24 times 75. Okay. 24 times 75 is indeed 1,800. So it's going to be 1,800. Very good. So we get 1,800. On this side. And on this side, we have 100x. So the question is, how are we going to get... Um, The question is, how are we going to get X? So in order do to get you, um, Say it again. Do you divide both of them by 100? Very good. We divide both sides by, eight, by 100. So it's going to be 100. Ashton, Ashton Taylor. Mr. Bazi, are you going to go back mm -hmm. up? Um, I don't have your work. Ashton? Pardon? I don't have your work. It's writing. Pardon? It's the writing. Um, send me what you have. Good. All right, so we're gonna cancel out. Let me cancel out. We're gonna do we're gonna get what? X is equal to 18. Because these two cancel too, right? Yes, so. Okay, so that counts. So we get 18 over 1, which is 18. Mm -hmm. So that means that the number of marks that he must get um, is going to be 18 in order for him to get 75%. Divine, you saying something? Never mind, I got it. Okay. All right, any questions on that?
Okay. Mr. Petit, can you bring the thing on back down a little bit? The screen knock down a little bit. I could take the screen shot of the two still. Okay, right there. Okay. It's the fourth word, right? Yes, this is the fourth one. I have them, but I still screenshot them though. Sean, up, up. Okay, let's move on. It says, um, excuse me, Mr. Petit. Go ahead. Um, this Alejandra, I'm not sure if you saw the notes I sent you, the ones you've been asking for. I saw them just now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw them. Thank you. Um, I'm still waiting on the ones so for today, though. I sent the ones from, the, from today. They're just mixed up in the ones that I was sending you. Okay. Okay, no problem. Excuse me, Ms. Bedeen. Yes. It's Angelina. My mom sent you a message, right? Mm, you mean as to, as to why you're late? As to why I wasn't able to um come to the, the classes like a couple oh. of days ago. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um okay. So that means you need you need that you need from the beginning. Angelina. Yeah, so. Okay, so take a screenshot of this, please. And for those who do not have it, this is what we did from the beginning, from yesterday, I mean, from today. So we started off with, yeah, we started off with um, talking about Mr. Smith and his faulty pens. So take a screenshot of this, please. Um, let me know when you got it, uh, uh, um, Angelina. I got it. Okay, then we went on to talk about uh, Miss Bailey and a house. Let me know when you got it. I got it. And then we talked about Miss Patsy and a dress. And then we went on to talk about Paul and his scores. This is the last one that we saw. Okay, thank you. What's the topic about? Percentages. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, you'll get this last part. Ashton Taylor. Yes. Sir. I told you to send me all that you have. You want to send me that yet? Because I was writing this last part. Yeah. Okay. I already told you if you're not interested in the class, tell him on me to sign you off. Don't stop wasting our money. All right. 2012. Okay, this one says that a sweater priced at, please write this down for me, please. We have, this time we're talking about a sweater. And it said that it says that the sweater is priced at forty dollars. All right, it said that a sweater price at forty dollars was on sale at thirty percent discount. So the question says to calculate the amount of the discount. So how are we gonna do that? So we're on a discount. How are we gonna figure the discount? Can we sign it over for say it again? Forty over forty forty eight times one hundred over one. Very good. So it's thirty percent of forty eight. So it's gonna be thirty over what? 30. 30 over what? 100. 100. Multiplied by what? 48 over 1. 48 over 1. Good. Um, can we do any cancellation now? We yes, cancel the zeros from the 30 and 1 from 100. Excellent. So we could do the, the 0 from here and the 0 from there. We could cancel out. So we're left with 3. 
over 10. And it's 3 over 10 because we have 3 and 10 L multiplied by 48 over what? 1. Over 1, very good. Now we multiply what is 3 times 48. Let's do that. 144. 144. Let's check. Three times eight is what? 24. 24. Very good. We put the four down. We put the two above. Three times four is? 12. Plus, plus two. two. 14. 14. So it's going to be equal to 144 all over 10 times 1 is 10. 10. What is 144 divided by 10? Let's do that. 14.4. 14.4, let's see. So 144, um, 10 goes into 14 once. One. 10 times one is 10. 14 minus four, 14 minus 10 is what? Four. Four, very good. We bring down the? Four. four. Okay. Um, 10 into 44 is how much time? Four times. Four times. That's very good. 10 times 4 is? 40. 40. 40. 44 minus 40 is what? 4. 4. Good. Do we stop right now? No, sir. No, sir. But uh, there's no point. And a decimal point gives us permission to put the imaginary, imaginary zero. zero. How much times 10 goes into 40? Four. Four times. It's going to be 40 minus 40. So zero and zero. It's going to be 14.4. So the amount of the discount was fourteen dollars and one and forty cents. That's how much discount she got. Make sense? Yes, sir. Any questions? I mean, I'll give any questions. Angel, are you there? Angel, I think she is. Okay, so we know that the discount is fourteen dollars and forty cents. So now we need to figure out what is the sale price of the sweater. So we know that the sweater costs originally it costs forty eight dollars, but the discount is fourteen dollars and. 40 cents. So how are we gonna get the how are we gonna get the sale price? $48 and $48 subtracted from $14 and 40 cents. Good. So it's gonna be $48 minus $14 and 40 cents. And so you have to be you have to be very careful when you subtract in this. Um some people tend to subtract this, this one, these things wrong. So you have to do 
the way you do it is put this on the side. The way you do it is you do 48 point zero zero minus fourteen dollars and forty cents divided by I'm not divided but the line zero minus zero is zero. zero. Zero minus four, we can't do that. We must borrow. This becomes seven. And you put that there, that becomes 10. 10 minus four is? Six. Six. Seven minus four is? Three. Three. And four minus one is? Three. 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 Please do not forget to bring down the decimal point. So what is the sale price? $30.60. Thirty-three dollars and sixty cents. Um, the tray. Are you there? You call me. Yes, sir. Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you've developed a very bad habit of not writing the questions down. No, I write them down right now. You didn't do it yesterday. I saw your work. So make sure write down the questions. Not only yes. down. Stop trying to find an easy way out. Um, Excuse me, Mr. Bitsy, can I come right back, please? Uh -huh. All right, so 2020, sorry, 2010. Are we done with this one? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, make sure I write down the questions along with the answers. Danny, Nika, are you there? Yes, sir. Um, okay. What one are you on anyway? What topic? I'm still on problem. I'm trying to help you with an issue. I could tell you. That's like one question, but like with multiple, I don't know if it's really, I don't really understand what the question asking, mm -hmm. but yeah, any help with it. So come back. Um, you're free at nine, right? Or you could make yourself available for nine o'clock. Yes, sir. Okay, so we can go over there. Um, but continue with the rest. So that we can go over the other ones are very easy. I will be once you send me your work, once you friends send me the rest of them, I'll be sending you the solutions manual um, that I constructed myself. As I went through the questions, I realized that they are pretty nice questions. Some of them are difficult, some of them are, you know, I'm like, why did they put this? But um, once you like a challenge, I'm wrong with it. So once you finish send it, this is Drexwell and Cargo, once you finish send your work. Like all of it, I will send you the solution manual. Um, so you can compare your work with the manual, and I'll also check your work and make sure that you understand what was given. Okay, Danny Nico. Okay. But definitely, we have to go over the ones you don't understand. Them. All right. So let's move on to 2020. Sorry, 2010. This one says that Mr. Black bought a television set for $450. He later sold the television set at a loss of 30%. So this is not profit. He ended up losing money. Um, so the question says, calculate the amount of the loss. Okay. So how are we going to get this? How are we going to get the loss? The amount of the loss.
May it is, Holy Nani Gato Mo of the Boss. He bought a television set for $450. He sold it at a loss of 30%. So how are we gonna get that? Any, any ideas? <clears throat> Uh, thirty percent over the amount that you bought. Uh, say the full thing, or let me switch you if, if you are saying the right thing. What are you gonna do? All we all we basically trying to find is thirty percent of what four hundred and fifty. So how are we gonna do that? Mm. Maybe what? If thirty over four hundred fifty. No. 30 over what? Remember, 30 is a percentage. So 30 over what? 30 over oh, 100. 100. Times, the, times 450 over 1? Uh, times 450. Times 450 over, over 1. Okay. So what do we do at this point? Yeah, cancel out the zeros. Cancel out the zeros. So it's gonna be this zero, cancel out with that zero, and that zero, cancel out with this zero. So we left it what? Three times 45 and one times one. So three over one multiplied by 45 over one. Three times 45 is what? 135. Is that true? Three times 45, yeah, that's 135. Wow. Over one, which is still $135. So the amount of his loss is $135. That's a big loss. Okay. So now that we got his loss, let's finish to the next one. So the question says, at what price did he sell the television? Go up. Okay, sure. So at what price did he sell the television set? Remember, he got a loss of $135. So how are we gonna figure out how much he sell, how much he sold it for? Anyone? Um 30 take away 135. Say it again. 30 take away 135? No. It's um four hundred. The original price four hundred and fifty. Take away one hundred and thirty-five. Very good. Take away one hundred and thirty-five. So it's gonna be four hundred and fifty minus one hundred and thirty-five dollars. Now we know one hundred and thirty-five dollars is the loss that he got. That's why we subtract. We didn't add it this time because it's a loss. You don't. You don't. You don't add loss. You subtract loss. So it's gonna be $450 minus 135. Yeah. Can you go up please? Um up like how? Like how much how much up? I don't understand. Up to where? To me, like the, the next, the next question, question B. Thank you. Okay. All right, so. At what price did Mr. Black sell the television set for? Well, we cancel this. It becomes four. 
Uh, 10 minus 5 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3. So we sold it for $315. And he got a loss because he sold it for less than he bought it for. Make sense? Yes. Right. Any questions on that? If not, let's go. Move on. All right, so let's move on to the next one. 2008. How much more we have anyway? Oh, this is the last one. That's good. Um, that's very good. Finish percentages start for. Okay. What is this anyway? Find your games. No, this is this is that's the end of percentages. This one is conversions now. Okay, good. So we're going to move on to conversion. So please send all the work for percentages. We just did percentages. Um, please send all of the working for percentages. So all of the ones for percentages, please send it. So, so far in the all you need to know series, what all we have covered thus far? Ms. Bateed, I said all of them already. You sent all of them? Okay, that's good. Yes, sir. So far, what have we done? And all you need to know series. We did what? Yesterday we did probability. 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 And then today we did percentages word problems. Okay. If we had time. You know, each one of these would have taken us a week, you know, if we had time, but we have to, we have to move. So next thing we're going to go on to is conversions. Like I said, please send me all of the work for percentages. All right, so let's move on to conversions. So the next big topic is conversions, and this is 20, 2018, I mean 2008. So conversions. Mr. Petit, can you go back up, please? Okay, after this one. This one. Let me know it right now. Pop some more. Thank you. Okay. Um I'm gonna ask Mom, you, um, pardon me, Mr. Badit. Yes, sir. This is convergence, right? Convergence, yes, conversion. Ashton, Halo. Hello. I haven't received your work yet. Okay.
Oh, Miss Petit, your mic is muted. Yes. All right, so let's do conversions. This one says Angie weighed about 140 pounds. She lost seven kilograms while on a diet. If if we know that one kilograms is equal to two pounds, how many pounds did she lose? Excuse me, Ms. Petit. Yes, Aliyah. What year is this? 2008. Thank you. So Angie weighed 140 pounds. She lost seven kilograms on a diet. If we know that one kilogram equals to two pounds, how many pounds did she lose? Um, 14. 14? Wow. Yes. That was quick. <laughs> because you have to, um, what was I going to say? Mul you, mul you just multiply two by seven, which is 14. Excellent. Cause... Because one, one kilogram is equal to two pounds. So she lost seven kilograms. So we know that one, if she, we know you know, that she lost seven. So this is one kilogram. This is the next one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six. And this is seven. So we know that, well, each one of them is two pounds. So that's two. That's two. That's two. That's two. And that's two. So basically, it's two seven times. Okay. And so two, four, six, and well, that's a thing. So she lost. Oh. Yes. Oh, I have the whole book, this booklet, the, um, all of these booklets, right? I don't need to really be taking, right? I'm writing them and, and taking pictures of them, right? I want you to write it down in your book. No, I mean, I have the book. I write them down still, but I mean, like, how I have all them print out, print off. You have, no, no, no. You have a different one, print out. Not this one. Oh. In the same. They understand. I have multiple books. I gave you a different one. All right, so it's going to be, how many pounds did she lose? She lost seven kilograms, which we know is going to be seven times two, which is going to be equal to 14. So she lost 14 pounds. Okay. So she lost 14 pounds. What is a new weight in pounds? She was 140, 140 pounds before she lost the weight. Put up the subtract one forty from fourteen. Very fourteen good. from fourteen from one forty. Very good. So one hundred forty minus fourteen. It's one twenty six. One twenty six. You want to roll tonight, Lanaya? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be gonna be ten. This is three. Ten minus four is. Six, three minus one is two, and one minus zero is one. So it's 126 pounds. Um, Gabby, I guess Gabby. Are you there, Gabby? Yes, sir. Send in your work. Return. Did you send in your work? The percentages. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, so it's, she is 126 pounds. That's a new week. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Any questions based on this? All right, so let's do the next one. All right. Oh, I see why this is under percentages. It's kind of under both of them. It's kind of like under percentages and conversions. Um, so if you put it under conversions, that's fine. I prefer to put it under con. So if you put it under conversions, it's fine. 
They also could work on the, on the percentages as well because it has a percentage at the bottom. I can screenshot it when you're going back up, please. Sure. Okay, you good, you good go. Okay. So what percentage of what what percentage of go back up, please? Sure. Thank you. No problem. So it says, what percentage of her original weight did she lose? So she lost 14 pounds, right? Yes, what, was her, what was her original weight? 140. 140. So what are we going to do with this? Because we want to change it to percentage. Mm. 14 over 140 multiplied by 100. 100 over 1. Very good. Multiplied by 100 over 1. Okay, Mr. Boutique, this part right here is getting me confused. Why you didn't put 100 or, um, I mean, why you didn't put 14 or 100? Like okay. All right. Very good question, Lanaya. They said they want, a, they want a percentage of her original weight. So in order for you to find out the percentage of her original weight, you need to know the fraction of her original weight. And the fraction of her original weight relative to the amount that she lose is going to be 14, which is the amount that she lose over the amount that she had. So 14 over 140. Then after you have it as a fraction, then you multiply it by 100 to change it into a percentage. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Thank you. OK, I got it now. I was just going to ask you a question, but I got it now. Okay. Um, so 14 over 100 multiplied by 14 over 140 multiplied by 100. Jasmine, you asked me to go up. Jasmine, did you get it? Did you get the screenshot that you needed? Okay, I can't have one, Jasmine. All right, so let's move on. Thank you. Okay, no problem. So here, here we cancel out the zeros. So it's going to be what? This and this. It's going to be 14 times what? 10. 10. What is 14 times 10? That's what? 140. 140. 140 over 14. How much times? How much times? Um, four, 140. Nine. How much Ten. times? Fourteen goes into one forty. Ten times. Ten times. Ten times. So she lost ten percent of her weight. Okay. Now, this next one is conversions as well. This one is twenty eighteen. I think it's 2018 paper. This one says convert 4,560 grams into kilograms. Again, convert 4,560 grams into kilograms. Now, in order to do this, you must first remember the acronym. It goes like this. Uh, basically, wait, before I even give you the acronym, basically what we have to do is we have, we have to convert grams to kilograms. So we have 4,560 grams, and we have to convert that into kilograms. So how much kilograms is that? So you must understand that kilograms is bigger than grams. And so the way how the acronym works is the acronym says, let me put it in a different color. The acronym says knock him down Grammy. Did you divide by two? Don't 
commit murder. So this is the acronym you have to remember. Knock him down, Grammy. Don't commit murder. All right, so knock him down, Grammy. Don't commit murder. So the G stands for grams. Okay, so the G is for grams. And the M is for milligrams. The K is for kilograms, okay? It's for kilograms. So now we're moving from, we'll be moving from grams to what? We're moving Kilogram. from kilograms. grams to what? Kilograms. So we have to move to the right or to the left? To the right? To the left. To the left. There's going to be one, two, three. So we move how much times? Three times. Three times, very good, three more, three times. So we're gonna take 4,560 and we're gonna move it three times. So 4,560, 4, just like how we, how we moved it three times to the left, we're gonna move it three times to the left as well. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be one, two, three. So our answer is going to be four point five six zero. So it's all about moving your decimal point. Just like how you that's why you need the acronym. So the acronym tells you which way to which way to move and how much times to move. So it's gonna be one, two, three. So the answer is. Mr. D, I thought you said, wait, you said grams is bigger than kilograms or kilograms is more than grams? No, definitely grams is smaller. Kilograms I is can't more. hear you. Grams is smaller. Kilograms is bigger. Okay. So how do we do it? All we do it, all we did was we move the decimal point three times to the left because we move from grams to kilograms three times to the left. So one, two, three. Now for your working, you must show them how did you get that. So you're gonna say four, five, six, zero, divided by a thousand. And the reason why you know it's, it's division is because the number got smaller. It was 4,560, now it's 4.560, so it got smaller. So you know you divide it by 1,000, so it's 4.560. And this is your work in to show them how you got it. All right, so let's move on to the next one. This one says one kilogram equals to 2.2 pounds. Okay, so one kilogram equals. One kilograms, one kilogram equals um, 2.2 pounds. Um, Express your answer from part A in pounds. Okay. So the answer we got in part A was what? 4.56 kilograms. So we got 4.560 kilograms. And our job or our work is to change it into, what must we change it into? Pounds. pounds. I mean pounds. Pounds. Yeah. Good. So how are we gonna change this to pounds? 
they say that one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So two kilograms would be two times 2.2. I mean, so you got to move your decimal twice, back, backwards twice. No, sir. I mean, let, I'm right twice. No, sir. Look, they tell us that one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So if one kilogram is 2.2 pounds, we have 4.56 kilograms. So we need so to multiply do... that by 2.2. Very good. So we're going to multiply that by 2.2. It's going to be 4.560. Multiply it by 2.2. And that's going to give us what? Let me multiply it. We have 4.560. 10.032. Oh, yeah, that's so fast. Don't forget he used calculator. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Frank Bong, for the insight. Two times zero is zero. Two times six is twelve. No. Two times five is ten plus one. Eleven. Eleven. Two times four is eight, eight. plus one is nine. nine. Put a zero as a placeholder. Two times zero is Zero. Two times six is 12. Well, put the two down, put the one up. Two times five is 10 plus one. 11. 11. Two times four is eight plus one. Nine. Nine. Very good. So we add them. Zero plus zero is zero. Two plus zero is Two. two, one plus two, one plus two is three, three, nine plus one, ten, ten, one plus nine, ten, ten. Okay, now we have one, two, three, four numbers behind a decimal point. We count again. One, two, three. Four numbers behind the decimal point. So you got to move four times. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. So the answer is 10, 10. No, let me write that different in different color. 10. Points. Zero, three, two, zero pounds. So four point five six zero multiplied by two point two is ten point zero three two zero. So the answer is ten points zero three two zero pounds. So what we did was we multiply it by 2.2, .2. okay? Any questions on that? Any questions on that? No, sir. No, sir. Sit again. This might be a little bit harder than I thought. A little bit harder. Yeah, this is just, just multiplying. So don't overwhelm yourself, just multiply it. What we did, what we did was multiply 2.2 .2 by 4.560. Yeah.
All right, let's move on. Can you all see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Um, let's do this other one. I changed, I um, took the question and put it on this PowerPoint slide so I get a bit more space. So you'd really understand how we do it. So I don't want to, I don't want us to move from conversions that you don't understand how exactly to do it. So. We're gonna do leaders and all of the rest of them. Um, so let's let's do this. So this one, this one says, but this one, we want to convert what milliliters to what liters. And so the acronym, don't forget your acronym. The acronym says what? Knock him down. Now. It's not going to say Grammy because we're dealing with leaders. So you're going to say Larry. Knock him down, Larry. Don't commit murder. Now the, the L is going to be for leader. Um, the ML, sorry, it's the M at the bottom is going to be for milliliters and the k this k is going to be for what anyone could guess kiloliters kiloliters very good kiloliter So again, it's knock him down, Larry, don't come up. So we're moving from what? Milliliters to what? To liters, right? Leaders. So how much time is we going to move over? It's going to be one, two, three. So we're going to take 5,400. And how much time is we going to move over? How much times are we going to move over? Three times. Three, three times. Mm. Very good. So it's going to be one, two, three. And that equals to what? Five point four zero zero. And so the answer is five point four. Zero, zero. Now, if you want some sort of working, you would say 5,400. Uh, because it went from a big um, number to a smaller number, you definitely know that you divided by a thousand. And you divided by a thousand because you moved it three times. And that gives you um, four, four point. Four zero zero. Okay, and so that's how we do that one. So five thousand four hundred milliliters is the same thing as four point. Sorry, five five thousand four hundred milliliters is the same thing as five point four zero zero liters. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so let's look at another one. There was I was here. So let's do we did let's do grams to milligrams. I think we already did this. Grams to milligrams. Let's do it again. So the next uh -huh. one. Is, so we want to convert this one. We want to convert grams to milligrams. Excuse me, Mr. Potato. 
Yes. Can I go back to the first one before the book, please? This one? Yes, sir. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we're going to convert what grams to milligrams. So what's the acronym that we're going to use? What's the acronym? Hello? The mic wasn't on mute, sorry. Knock him down, Grammy. Don't commit murder. Very good. Knock him down, Grammy. Don't commit murder. So we're moving from grams to milligrams. And so that means we're gonna go right or left? Right? Right, for sure. Because this one is grams, right? This one is milligrams. Obviously, the CF is for centigrams, and the K here is for kilograms. All right, so we're moving from grams to milligrams. So let's move over three times, right? So one, two, three. So we have zero point three five. We gotta move over, we move it over how much times? Three times. Three times to the right, so it's gonna be one, two, three. So that's gonna be equal to what? Three, five. Placeholder for zero. Good. So it's gonna be 350. So that's 350 milligrams. Now, if you want some working, You'd say zero. Now it was it was a small number. It moved to a bigger number. So you're not gonna be dividing. That means you're gonna multiply. So 3.35 multiplied by what? A thousand. That's gonna give you 350. Mr. Petit, so do you always um use one thousand? No. It's going to, we're going to do, a, we're going to do an example there. You can use 10, 100, or 1,000. Uh, we're going to do an example where you use 10 and 100 and stuff like that. It depends on how much times you move over. So if you move over once, then use 10. If you move over twice, you should move. That'll be 100. If you move over three times, then that's 1,000. Make sense? Yes, sir. So, nanometers to centimeters to We're gonna move from, we're gonna do centimeters per meters. Okay, good. So let's do this. So I'm we dealing with um meters and centimeters. So the acronym is gonna be knock M 
town minister don't yes you could go back to the 0 0.35 times 100 or 1001 please okay so i missed with you thank you okay yes or shall no what would be 6.85 um, I reach there yet. Give me a chance to do it. So the M stands for what? Meters. Meters. The C stands for what? Centimeters. So we're moving from centimeters to meters. Okay. This one obviously is kilometers. We don't want to be in one, but that right now. And the other one is um, millimeters. Okay, so we're moving from centimeters to meters. So how much times we gonna move over? One, two. Twice. So we move over twice, right? Twice to the left. So it's gonna be six, eight, five, and again, we move over twice to the left. So it's gonna be one, two, so it's gonna be equal to six point eight five. Okay, so um, 685 centimeters is actually six, Point eight five meters. Now we move from a bigger number to a smaller number. So that means we have to divide, right? So six eight five is divided by what? Divide by what? How much times did we move over? You move over twice, so it's going to be divided by 100 equals to 6.85. Okay, and that's that for, and that's basically all you need to know for conversions. Okay. Yeah, that's basically all you need to know for. Conversions. Yep. All right. So please send all of the work for conversions, please. Please send all of the work for conversions. Again, send all of the work for conversions. All of the notes. We're going to move on to another one. So, so far we've done probability percentages on conversions. Again, please send on all of the notes for conversions. Um, Vashanti. Do have your work? Vashanti, do you have your work? Yes, sir. Okay. Um. Oh, 
Um, Vashanti, do you have your work? I think she already said yes. Serenity. <clears throat> Serenity. Yes, um, I don't see your work. I'm going to find it. I'm still writing that. Um, let me see something. Did you send yesterday's work? No, sir. I was on the to. So you didn't send yesterday's work. And you didn't send the day work. How does that work? I'm going to send my list of the yeah, but you won't send them yet. You keep on sending and sending, but I don't have them yet. Um, Daniel. No, Daniel. Daniel. Daniel Hebron. Where's Daniel? I'm hearing from Daniel. Um, Where's Noel? Noel, are you there? Yes, sir. Did you send in your work? I already sent it. Okay. That's good. Karen, did you send in your work? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Moesha, did you send in your work? Yes, sir. Good. Um, send in. Megan? Is Megan out? Okay. Tekken? Tekken, are you out? Tekken Hudson, are you there? Hudson, are you there? I think she left. She's typing. Oh, she's... I know that. One. I don't. I don't see. So I don't see her typing. She said yes, sir. Hello. Yes. Tay again. Did you send in your work? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. Um, all right, Angel. Okay, got Angel. All right, good. All right, good. I'm proud of you all. Y'all are everyone on the same page. We are doing that work. Very good. <clears throat> um, okay, so that's more forward. Um, so yes, that was the next one. I oh Daniel, Daniel, where's Daniel? Let me hear from Daniel. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> a lot to catch up on, you know. Um, let me let me let you set yeah. take a shot up now. Um, write these down for me, please, and send them tonight. You hear me? Yes, sir. I heard um, you. Okay, so this is the first one that we did. He was in there for this one, right? No, sir. And then this Listen. is a, and this is I, the next. This is the next one. Yes, sir. And then this is the other one. Yes, sir. Where's Jensen? Jensen, are you there? And this is the next one right there. 
Um, Yes, sir. Um, okay, Hello. Good. Hello, Jensen. Hello. Where are you? Oh, my phone died. Just come back. You can't, you can't, you have to charge your phone, you know, because you're missing some good content. And I ain't going back over this. You have to be in class. Now, what you have to do is you have to watch the recording. I'm going to send it to you um, so you can play with it. You have to, you have to catch up on these stuff. Because these are very important topics, okay? Yes, sir. Sorry, but it just come back on. I know it just come back on. But the problem is, is that you need to have your stuff charged before class. What's the problem? Come on, you're almost 20. You have to be able to charge your phone at least. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, good. All right, so we finished conversions. That was a big one. Which one of the three is the easiest? Probability, percentages, or conversions, you think? Conversions, definitely conversions. Conversions. For real? Wow. I'd like percentages more. You like percentages more? Percentages. Percentages. Really? Um, percentage is easy <laughs> easier than conversions all you you doing is moving a decimal point that's all you move that's all you're doing um i like probability though no one more mentioned probability it's like... no probability sucks mm -mm. nope okay all right moving right along let's go to um the next thing on the agenda is i hope it's a good topic it is going to be from what please. Um, oh, this is nice. Order of operations. Should we be able to do this with your eyes closed? Um, you got more work? Too many if we have more work. It's only, you have whole nine more minutes. Okay, so order of operations. Everything you need to know for order of operations. Okay, you write this down. Um, I am going to get, I'm oh, sorry. Let me put on the PowerPoint slide. So for order of operations, you need to know this. Um, you need to know that first thing you do is parentheses. That's the first thing you do. Um, and then after you do out of after you do parentheses, then you do um, multiplication. Excuse me. No, then you do exponents. Um, and then multiplication and division from left to right, and then you do addition and subtraction from left to right. So please write this down. I think you only have the you only have you only gonna have a chance to write down this particular one. Okay, good. So let me y'all can see my screen. So the acronym, write that? Yes, write this down, please. Write this down. This is part of the notes. So the acronym for it is please excuse my dear aunt Sally. What's the acronym for? Pemnas, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So we're gonna we're gonna start off with this tomorrow. I'm not going to um, do any questions on this today. It's going to be our last slide. Once you finish with this and you're not doing, what are we doing today? Are we doing health science or general science? Once you finish, write this down, send it to me. And then if you're not doing health science or general science, you could leave. We're going to, we're going to complete this tomorrow. 
Excuse me, Mr. Busy. Oh. Yes, divine. Are you doing health first? Yes, I'm doing health first. Okay, and can I come back in 30 minutes so I can go iron my shirt? Sure, I, I mean, I didn't need to know all the details, but yeah. Mr. Vadid, um, Angela asked if you could go back. I don't know which slide though. Yeah, what slide, Angela? Out of operation. Okay, I'm on it. Anaya, where's Anaya? I'm at the P. All right, take care. Nanaya, are you there? Yes. Um, what happened to Nanaya? Shea, where's Shea? Shea left it. I'm right there. Okay. Yeah, Shea, you see how quickly time just flew? I mean, that was, that was fast. Yeah. It was literally, literally just six o'clock and it's gone. Um, which is, which topic is the, is your favorite of the three? Probability, percentage. Um, but I got excited for other operations, but percentages percentages is easy. Okay, she. Well, that is the hardest of the three. Or oh, none of them are. Um, convergence. 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 For real? Yeah. Well, it was like none of them hard, but if you had to put pick a hardest, it'd be convergence. Okay. All right. Okay, so more profits with that is definitely needed. Yes, uh, yes Gustav. Um, I like I learned a different method in school. It was like forward marks. Forward marks, yes. Yeah, could you use it? Yeah, it's the same thing. Because board marks is brackets. And then um then you do the powers and then multiplication division. Yeah. Board mass works as well. Order and operation is my favorite topic in math. For real? <laughs> yes. And algebra. Can't forget algebra. And algebra. Wow. That's a first. Okay. We still get the algebra. Trust me. We can get the algebra. We will get the answer. All right, so. We're gonna do health science and general science now. Michaela, where's Michaela Mark? Michaela Moxie. Michaela Moxie, are you there? Hello, Michaela. Hello. Yes. Hello. Um, I don't have none of your none of your notes for tonight. Can you please send them for me? I didn't have because I came to class late today. So you didn't you didn't you didn't write nothing? No, so that's why I asked the recording. So when I send you the recording, you will send the notes, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'll send you the recording sometime. Okay. Yeah, send them before you'll get it by tomorrow for sure. So you could, okay. but come to class early so you wouldn't be in this predicament. Okay. Okay. All right, moving right along. Let's begin with health science.
Okay, for today is what? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, right? Let me go to this one. Okay, so today is Monday, Tuesday. It is Tuesday, the 21st of March. Twenty twenty three. The subject is, of course, our science, and the topic for today is we're going to be looking at the heart. So we begin with the following notes. Please write down the notes as they become very important for you when you're answering your exercise questions. So the heart. So the heart is a, an extremely Vital component of the, the circulatory the main function of the heart is to pump blood to all parts of the body. This in turn provides the body with the essential Nutrients provide the body's cells with the essential nutrients. Needed for life. And also provides an avenue to get rid of products. Um, the heart can be divided into four chambers or main parts called Chambers. There are two upper chambers called Patria, which is plural for atrium. And there are two lower tables. Yes, so. In the first okay. sentence, is it supposed to say the heart is an extremely vital component? The heart, thank you. Thank you, that's very important. The heart, the heart. Please correct that. It's supposed to say the heart is an extremely vital component of the circulatory system. 
The main function of the heart is to pump blood to all parts of the body. This in turn provides the body's cells with the essential nutrients needed for life and also provides an oven to get rid of these products. The heart can be divided into four main parts called chambers. There are two upper chambers called atria and there are two lower chambers called, well, the two lower chambers are the heart called. That would be ventricle. Ventricle, sorry. Um, all right, atrium and the uh, left atrium. Are uh, upper chambers. The right ventricle and the left ventricle is the name of the lower chambers of the heart. Um, so the name of the region of the heart that separates oxygenated blood, that's blood that has a high percentage of oxygen is from the oxygenated blood, that's blood that has a low percentage of oxygen is called septum. The heart contains These structures are responsible for preventing the backflow of blood. Order to keep the heart healthy, the individual must eat regularly, eat its vegetables and in cage in eight and regular physical all right this is the the heart good okay good so alianza can you read the notes for me please for the section 
The heart is an extremely vital component of the circulatory system. The main function of the heart is to pump blood to all parts of the body. This is the this in turn provides the body cell cells with the um, essential nutrients needed for life and also provides an avenue to get rid of waste products. The heart can be divided into four main parts called chambers. There are two upper chambers called the atria, which is plural for atrium, and there are two lower chambers called ventricles. The right atrium and left atrium are the names of the upper chambers of the heart. The right ventricle and the left ventricle is the names of the lower chambers of the heart. The name of the region of the heart that separates oxygenated blood, blood that has a high percentage of oxygen from deoxygenated blood, blood that has a low percent of oxygen is called septum. The heart contains valves. These structures are responsible for prevent, preventing the backflow of blood. In order to keep the heart healthy, an individual must regularly eat fruits and vegetables and engage in regular ex physical exercise. Very good. Thank you. So, um, Shaya, what system is the heart a part of? The circulatory system. Very good. Alejandro? Yes, sir. What is the main function of the heart? The main function is of the heart is to pump blood to all the parts of the body. Very good. Daniel? Yes, sir. Um, give two benefits of the heart pumping blood. Two benefits? Yeah, two benefits. Um, what do you mean by benefits? Okay, benefit is a good thing. So what are two things or two consequences, two natural consequences of the heart pumping blood parts of the body? Um, it, it one pumps, it pumps separate blood, it pumps separate types of blood to different no, parts. No, no, no. I'm asking, read right on the screen. What what is provided to the body as a result of the heart pumping? Oxygen. Okay, essential nutrients. What else is what else happened? Um the um the low nutrient uh the low nutrient blood gets transferred back. So the process begins again. Okay, the part I'm looking for is read out. Read this. This in turn provides the body, the body cells with the essential nutrients needed for life, and also provides an avenue to get rid of waste products. Very good. So the beating of the heart, um, once the heart pumps blood and it gets the oxygen from the lungs, it provides the body with oxygen and nutrients. And it also, in turn, also collects waste as well. So two benefits of the heart pumping is it provides the body cells with oxygen and nutrients, and it gets rid of waste. You understand that, Daniel? Yes, sir. All right, Duran, are you there? Into how many parts can the heart be divided into, Duran? Four. Four, very good. What is the name of the four main parts, um, Miss Neely? What do you call the, what is the general name for the four main parts? name for the four main parts. Chambers. Chambers, very good. Um, how many upper chambers do we have, Gabrielle? Gabrielle Gale? Yes, sir. How many upper chambers do we have? Two. How many lower chambers do we have? Two. Very good. 
Jasmine. Yes, sir. What is the name of the two upper chambers of the heart? Atria. 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 Yeah. Uh, and um, Jennifer. Yes, sir. What is the name of the two um, lower chambers of the heart? Ventricles. Very good. Karen. Karen. Yes, sir. What is meant by deoxygenated blood? Blood that has a low percentage of oxygen. Very good. Lanaya? Yes, sir. What is meant by oxygenated blood? Blood that has a high percentage of oxygen. Good. Rochelle, no? Yes, sir. Which structure separates oxygenated blood from deoxygenated blood in the heart? The um, septum. Very good. Um, Moesha? Yes, sir. What is the purpose of valves? Um, they, they are responsible for pre um, preventing the valves the back flow of blood. Very good. Serenity? Yes, sir. Um, what are two things that a person can do to keep the heart healthy? Um, to eat fruits and vegetables. Uh-huh, and what else? And engage in regular physical exercise. Regular physical exercise. Very good. Um, Tay again, Hudson. Are you there? Yes, sir. To which um system does the heart belong? The circulatory system. Very good. Um Vashanti. Are you there? Yes, sir. Good. Um, into how many chambers can heart be divided into? Three. No, not three. How many chambers can we divide the heart into? Two. No. It says read it out. Read this. Read it out. Read this. What does it say? The heart can be divided into four main parts called chambers. Good. So what is the, um, so how many parts of the heart do we have? Four. Very good. Okay. So let me show you a picture of the heart so you can actually see the chambers for yourself. All right, so here is a picture or a diagram of the heart. Can y'all see it? I can see it. Good. So how many persons ever saw a picture of a heart before? I'm sure everyone has seen that. I have me. Everyone now, right? How many persons is your first time seeing a picture of the heart? I hope no one. Okay, so everyone has seen a picture of a heart before. So this one here, this right here is the right atrium. 
it's kind of weird because um, this is the right atrium, but it's on the left side. Can someone tell me why it is on the left side and it's called the right atrium? Why is that? Can someone tell me? Why is this called the right atrium and it's on the left side? Let me ask someone in particular. Shaya, you know why? Do I know why? Why it's called the right atrium and it's on the left side? Um, I think it's because, well, like that's flipped though, because when it's actually like in your body, it'll be on. Mm. Uh, what was that? No, I don't remember. Um, the reason is because imagine Shaya, you are the physician, right? Or the surgeon. You want to be a surgeon or something, right? Are you trying to be like a doctor? No, sir. What are you trying to do? Like I can't do with blood. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Shea? Pardon? Yeah, what you trying to be? What, what you want to be when you grow up? Um, I would like, this sounds generic as hell, but like I want to kind of be like a lawyer, but like criminal. Oh, okay. criminal out. justice and stuff like that. Okay. Oh my yes. God, me and Shay are best friends now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, um, even though you're trying to be a, a lawyer, I'm going to explain to you why this is the right atrium. Because imagine, let's say you're a physician, right? Um, and you have or the surgeon and you have to do a surgery, right? The person is gonna be lying on the table, right? And when the person lies lies on the table, um, so this is how the person is gonna look lying on the table. So think about it. When their heart is like this, right? It's their heart. And you, and you have them on the operating table. Remember, their right is gonna be your left. Is that right? That's what I was trying to say. Like, how yeah. if you face into someone and they raise up their like left arm, yeah. it'll be yeah. your right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you are if so that's how that's why this is, this is the right atrium because we're looking at it from the perspective of a surgeon. So this would be the right side of the person, even though it's your left. This is going to be the right atrium for the person, okay? Because their right is your left. And this is going to be their left side. But that's your right side, okay? So you're looking at this from the perspective of you are the surgeon on operating table. So this is the right atrium. This right here is the right ventricle. I like this picture. That's pretty cool to me. That's just my opinion. Um, Mr. Petit? Yes, Alia. I probably understand this a lot more because I want to be a neurosurgeon. Oh, oh, wow. You're trying to, wow, trying to be, um, like what's the guy? Surgeon? That's um, different. That's different for real. You got to be so steady and so- I, I like it, but that's different. Yeah. But she good for it though. She has the, um, Seems like she is gifted in that way. Um, okay, so this is the right ventricle. What are these? You need to think of what these are. Like these flat. Are these like the, are those like the um, the walls that stop the um, when the blood come in? It can't go back like that. Seven wasted time. What do, what do we call these? What do we call these? It's our V. Also. That's the valves, yeah. So when blood go in here, it can go out. out. So these are the valves. This is also the valves as well. They're pretty neat, like this look cool. I like this joint. And then this one right here is the left atrium. All right. This one is the is the left ventricle. This is actually the strongest part of the of the of the heart, to be honest. 
Because this is the part that I have to, you see, notice that it's more muscular. See all that muscle? It's way more muscular, muscular than the right ventricle. Because this is the part where you have to actually pump it to the rest of the body. Okay. And this is also the valves as well. These are the valves, making sure that um, what goes in stays in and what is out stays out. This right here is the septum, by the way. This right here. This is the septum. What is this? What is the job of the septum? What is the job of the septum? Separate to separate the heart, like to separate the heart. To separate the um oxygen, the oxygenated, the uh, the, the oxygenated, yeah, from the yeah. Yes, the yeah. septum to separate to separate the deoxygenated blood and oxygenated. Blood, okay, and this is your heart. Contrary to popular opinion, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah, once you get used to it, you get used to it, like. The oxygenated blood, oxygenated blood, it becomes a part of your vocabulary. Okay, so that's a pity. We only have five more minutes left. Wow. We literally should do health science for an hour. All in favor say aye. Opposed nay. Nay. <laughs> So function of the heart. So which system does the heart belong? Yes, two benefits. Of two body cells that are pumping of the heart provides. Right away, this is homework. So you're going to do this um, and give it to me on. Bring it on Sunday. For those who come in Sunday class, bring it on Sunday. If you're not coming to Sunday class, then submit it to me virtually on Sunday. So say, give this to me on Sunday. Um, uh, um, how many? Parts. Oh, and we oh, divided into the form. Atrium yeah. size millions of the upper chambers. Give the precise names. One of the four changes of the heart. What is meant by oxygen, maybe? What is the difference? Sorry. Between oxygenated and deoxygenated blood.
And what is the function of the valves of the heart? That's all. One more. Which what is the name of the region of the heart? That separates oxygenated. So you feel this. So see the heart of the okay, like I said, these are homework it's due on sunday please make sure i know that due on or before sunday it's coming sunday so please make sure you complete it i don't want to, have to run down the one for the exercise make sure you complete your work Okay, we are now moving on to general science. Bye. All right, take care, Rashad. Good night. Good night. See ya. Well, can we move on to general science? Can you go back to the note slide quickly? Okay, sure. Good, you got it? Yeah, so thank you. Okay. Please send in your notes for health science. Send in your notes for health science, please. Before we transition over to general. Again, send in the notes for health science, please. Is everyone, Gabriel, Rishal, um, I don't even see if Alejandro. Um... Send in the note. Excuse me. Send in the note for health, for general science. I mean, for health science, rather. Let's move on to general. Mr. Bati, I'm not. Say it again. I'm not staying for general science tonight. <laughs> All right. Then. All right, sure. Good night. Thank you. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Um, can I send my notes for um health science after class? Because I'm not done writing the notes. Okay, sure.
All right. Um, let's do this. This is number. What is this? Is this Tuesday? Tuesday, the what? The 21st of February, of March. 2023. Project of course, general science. Topic is e transfer. All right, so let's begin with the notes. So e transfer is a quite um, common phenomenon. So um, e transfer is not something that is unlikely, it happens every day. Okay. That takes place in most situations. Now, all matter of all matter, and matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. All matter is made up of molecules and atoms. is capable of undergoing heat transfer. So once the once the once the matter is, is consists of once the matter consists of molecules and atoms, it's capable of conducting heat transfer. The motion of atoms varies frequently, but changes from time to time. Now transfer of heat occurs when there is the movement of atoms and molecules. It is also responsible for thermal energy.
Now every model consists of thermal, thermal energy or contains, every model contains thermal energy. The heat energy of the particle will be more when the movement of atoms and molecules is more. All right, so um, we can start from Miguel. Miguel, are you there? I am. Yes, uh, sir. Are you writing down your notes? Yes, sir. Okay, question. Is he transfer something that is unlikely? Uh, no, sir. Oh, okay. Why you say it's not unlikely? It could take place in almost any situation. So it's a very common yes. occurrence, a very common phenomenon. Um, yes, serenity. Yes, sir. What is matter? What is matter? Okay, matter is anything that has mass and fields of space. Very good. Um, Alejandro. Alejandro, are you there? Yes, sir. Good. What type of matter can undergo heat transfer? The movement of atoms and molecules? No, what type of model um, is capable of undergoing heat transfer? All model. All model, which is made of what? Anything that has mass and takes up space. No, 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 no. All model that is made up of what? Molecules and atoms. Yes. Is capable of undergoing heat transfer. Good. Um, divine. Divine. Yes, sir. When, when, um, does he does transfer of heat occur? When there is movement of the atom. Very good. Um, Gabriel. Gabriel? Yana from Gabriel. Karen? Yes, sir. Um, tell me, um, what type of energy does every model contain? Thermal energy. Thermal energy. Um, say again, are you there? 
Um, when will the heat energy of the particle be more? Um, when the atoms and molecules move more. Very good. So the more and more the atoms and molecules move, the more will be the heat energy. Okay, let's look at the types of heat transfer. So, so there are three types of heat. So the first one is conduction. The second one is convection. And what is the third one? Type of heat transfer. Conduction, convection, what else? Radiation. Radiation, very good. Who said that? Karen. Karen, very good. All right, now let's look at um, the definition of conduction. So conduction um, um, generally means the process of the transfer of energy or heat from one particle to the next to another particle while being in direct contact. <laughs> and we have convection.
This is the process of heat transfer. in which the heat energy occurs by the mass movement of molecules. like gases on liquids. And then finally, radiation So radiation um, is heat transfer that occurs via electromagnetic waves unlike conduction and convection, it does not need a medium for transmission. So conduction um, typically occurs in solids, convection, typically occurs in liquids and gases, and Radiation typically occurs in a vacuum. When we say vacuum, we mean that there's no particles. So there are three main types of heat transfer, conduction, um, radiation, convection, and radiation. So conduction, convection, um, <clears throat> conduction, convection, and radiation. Those are your three types, okay? Okay, so let me show you an example 
of conduction, convection, and radiation. So let's say, for example, you are, you know, boiling water on the stove. Boiling water, the water is a perfect example of conduction, convection, and radiation. Can you all see the slide? You can go back, please. Yes, sir. Wait, I'm going to go back. I just want to explain this before I go back. So radiation, if you look right, so we have the heat and elements. This is giving off heat, right? And the heat is, um, every time you have heat traveling in, 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 in waves, electronic, in electromagnetic waves um, through a vacuum, right? That's radiation. So here we have heat traveling in waves. And this heat is heating up what? This solid, um, this solid um, pan, right? Or pot, we should say. So the, the radiation that is coming off from this heating element is reaching the, the pot, which is in turn heating the liquid in the pot. Now, when the liquid in the pot is being heated, that is convection. So the first thing is radiation. That's um, the heat from the stove, onto the pot and then onto the water as radiation. Then convection is, is, is heating that is happening in the liquid, right? So we talk about how um, convection is, is when we have a mass movement of the particles, that's convection. Now, when, the, when you touch the pot, if you touch the pot with your hand, the pot itself is gonna be hot. Now, that means that heat is moving through the pot. Now, that means that heat is moving from one particle of the pot to another particle of the pot through direct contact. So that's conduction, okay? So that's the three types of, um, you know, that's the three types of, of heat transfer, radiation, right? Um, heat that is being moved through waves, and we have, um, convection, heat that is being transferred in a liquid. Then we have conduction, heat that is being transferred in a solid. Okay, does that make sense? Hello, does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, okay are we finished with the notes? Yeah. No, sir. Okay. Um, let me give you all about the slide. Please take a screenshot of the slide and send me the notes. Please send me the notes. Okay. If you're done, you can leave, but make sure to take a picture of your notes for me, please. Good night. Okay, good. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Hello? Um, Danny Nika. Yes, sir. Um, I want to end this um, class so I could get the recording. So log on, but log back in, okay? Okay. okay.